straight to that. Well, since it is Valentine's Day and February is American Heart Month, we bring you a story of hope and love. How doctors at Hartford Hospital helped a couple married for 54 years keep their love alive. Bernadette Madison volunteers at Hartford Hospital every Tuesday and Thursday with her husband, Ted. Married 54 years and still going strong, they are Hartford Hospital's favorite couple. But the morning of Tuesday, January 5th, 2010, something they never saw coming. Never felt anything, no dizziness, no strangeness. And I got right about to this door, I'm told, and I just suddenly, the lights went out and down I went. Bernadette's heart stopped for five minutes. Eyes are open like a doll, lifeless. The uh, emergency room staff responded to that code and found Bernadette in a rhythm called ventricular fibrillation, which is a life-threatening uh, arrhythmia. And they had an external defibrillator, which they applied to her. They saw that she was in this rhythm and gave her an external shock to get her heart back to normal rhythm. Bernadette was shocked by a defibrillator just like this one. Then she was brought into the critical care area where doctors continued to work on her heart. When Bernadette woke up in her hospital bed, she was surrounded by family. We were so blessed that basically she's back to where she was before and everything responded so well. And rarely do you hear doctors talk about God, but, but this time they said, God wasn't ready for you. I mean, it was that simple. Was it your time? It wasn't my time. He still needed you here. <laughs> yes, he did. She had something to do yet. It wasn't finished. <laughs> and every day I ask myself, Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Because it's like God gave you a wake-up call. I mean, how much closer can you come? The next step was figuring out what caused Bernadette's cardiac arrest. Every day it was more testing. It never showed anything until they did the uh, MRI, which showed a little scab in the heart. And uh, apparently this trapped the electrical piece of your heart that caused the arrhythmia. Well, sometimes people can develop a viral infection that attacks their heart muscle. That's called myocarditis. And that myocarditis can leave behind scar tissue that you might never know about. And that scar tissue can then cause these types of arrhythmias. If you have a small amount of scar like Bernadette did, the, the first sign that you have that could be a cardiac arrest, unfortunately. Dr. Zweibel implanted an internal defibrillator designed to monitor Bernadette's heart. If she goes into cardiac arrest again, it will give her the life-saving shock she needs to survive. It's hard to imagine uh, how something could be any better than getting to you within four seconds or five seconds of you having an arrhythmia. So I like to say it's like having an emergency room in your chest. The defibrillator was implanted last year, just in time for Valentine's Day. We had a big Valentine party on that Sunday, and uh, the doctors all came in and they laughed and they said, oh, Valentine's Day, you know, here you are. And it, yes, it was tied in with hearts. Hearts have always been special to me. Valentine's Day has always been my big holiday, bigger than Christmas, and I just love it. And to have it done so close, it felt like a good charm to me. But after the year, I don't think about it really. You just know it's there, it's your insurance policy, and uh, it's never gone off. I hope it never Thank does. Goodness. And this year, I am having a Valentine brunch for my entire family. Oh, and the key to a lasting marriage? Bernadette says it's all about a sense of humor. Happy Valentine's Day. Yay! And they just walked the halls holding hands. That's it. They did it, and I was like, stop, I have to get this on camera. They're just so <laughs> cute. Yeah. Love them.